Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg with Mini Awesome Cast at Sorgatron on the Twitter, awesomecast.net. Please check out our friends at Bold Pittsburgh and Slice on Broadway. Check out the links over at awesomecast.net and check out what they're doing. Some really awesome stuff. So, hey, Apple Watch is out today. You can order it online. You can go into the store, get an appointment, get it on your little wristy wrist, get it a comparison, and uh, good luck with that. I guess they're going to abolish those lines going on uh, at the stores, which is pretty interesting. Um, so... So, uh, here's what I'm here to tell you. You don't need an Apple Watch. No, you don't. This is, I, I, I found myself, I, I go, okay, so, you know, I, you know I, if you've listened for a long time, there's a $50 studio. We're reusing so many computers here uh, that we just acquired over the years that people just had no use for, upgraded, whatever the case. And sometimes I got ones that are just sold. I can't really do anything with them. And I had a batch of those, and I went to our friends over at the Construction Junction. If you're in Pittsburgh, it's a tremendous place. If you're looking for, like, older stuff, you can kind of refurbish and, like, you can find old doors and toilets and stuff, and it's pretty cool, actually, uh, the stuff you can find in there. It's like a thrift store for housewares. Um, but uh, they also do computer recycling uh, very responsibly through eLoop, and they destroy all your data and disks and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool to watch. And, and, and I'm there, and he's like, he points out, one, everybody thinks that this is this Pebble is an Apple Watch, which I think is intriguing. Uh uh, just because it's a smartwatch, and, and that's what everybody knows. Just like an iPad, any tablet is an iPad or something, right? For the longest time, and uh, and so he started asking about it. And I started talking with the guys for a little bit about it and and my thoughts on smartwatches and everything. And uh, and then I noticed the one guy. He's like, "Well, I got this thing. It was called a Berg watch, and I never heard of a Berg watch before. B U R G." So like Pittsburgh without the H, right? And it was a pretty handy little device. And it seemed like it was, although it was, it was colorful. It looked like a good round watch, but uh, it, it, he said that he couldn't get like tweets. He said he'd get text messages and everything, but uh, he, he said he wouldn't get tweets and notifications that would be coming off the phone. Um, and it's, it's one of these round versions, you know, find it here. If you're on video, this London 1212, uh, uh, that they have running for uh, 250 bucks looked like the one that he had uh, going on there. And it's a nice looking watch. I have no idea the functionality, but again, it's one of those like, it's one I've never heard of. I do a tech podcast where we talk about smartwatches like every week at this point. And this one slipped under the radar. And maybe it's just not a big one. It's very fashionable. It, it, it's interesting. Um, and I'm, I'm really intrigued by that. And then, and then on top of that, we have Android Wear coming out. We story. hey, we're almost ready to use Android Wear with your iPhone with a companion app just like Pebble does. I think that's going to open up the market as well. I'm honestly hard-pressed. If, if I was not into Pebble right now, and actually maybe the more I think about this and comparing with the new one price-wise, I might be interested in Android Wear watch a little bit. If it wasn't for a battery life, if they get that a little bit better. But it opens up the possibilities. Oh, you can get an Apple Watch, or you can get this, or you can this, or you can this, if you're holding on to an iPhone right now, right? Um, you have something like the Berg Watch. We keep hearing about Sony's got a watch, Samsung's got a watch. Of course, the Samsung ones typically, they might have opened it up by now. I know my friend that has one, Riz, uh, I think it only works with his Samsung device, and it was, a, it was a small number to begin with. But there's so many options, and it feels like this thing came out of left field. So if you're sitting there today, you're seeing on the news, I'm sure they're talking about Apple Watch all over the internet, the tweets. It's going to be all over the place. So I'm telling you right now, you do not need an Apple Watch. I mean, nobody needs any of this stuff. Let's be honest. These are gadgets. These are gadgets. But I mean, if you're like, I want to step into this. I want to go on the wild side and get it, get a smart watch and have a smart wrist and all this stuff. You do not need to do that. You look at these. Look at the Pebble. The Pebble time is, is, is a few months away, but it looks tremendous. And I think your your functionality will be over that. You have other ones. Um, um, the, the Peak uh, watch that... DJ Lunchbox, Papa Lunchbox, pa Panel Right Wrestling Mam Show um, is talking about. Uh, I think it's the Peak Basic. He's been, but that is that's one more. Is some people just want something geared more for fitness, and that's exactly Peak Basis. I'm sorry, Ultimate Sleep and uh, Sleep and uh, Fitness Tracker, and uh, that thing's out there, and that thing has uh, uh, you know a uh, you know, hundred two hundred bucks, which is is seems like the median thing. You can get a Pebble, the first generation Pebble for a hundred, I believe. Um, but you have options and it's okay. 
It's not going to be, I think, these these standard words we have between iPhone and Android or PC and Mac or anything like that. So relax. Look at your options. They're wide open right now. Let me know what you think. Which one did you pick? Are you getting an Apple Watch? I definitely want to hear impressions on the Apple Watch for those who are getting hands-on with it. If you're going to a store or you get one here before Tuesday, please let us know so we can compare notes. I believe Chilla is going to be getting one, so I think we're going to have one in studio this week. Uh, so we'll be talking about that. Uh, let us know uh, at AwesomeCast on Twitter, Sorgatron on Twitter for me. And, of course, uh, on all the social media, please comment on this video wherever you're finding it or on awesomecast.net or if you're listening to audio-wise or on Twitter, whatnot. We'll see you guys next time. Go get an Apple Watch. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.